Let me show you a plugin that's going to beautify your author box on WordPress. It's called Author C, and right now it's on Lifetime Deal, so we gotta check it out. So let's jump over to my desktop right now. Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is George, and this is Author C. Right now it's on Lifetime Deal, and it starts off at $39. Now, I think the limits that they provide you for the $39 are actually worth checking out. Now, don't forget that there's a 60 day money back guarantee, so in case you don't like it, just go ahead and refund it. Now, in this case, the plan is tied to the pro plan, so do consider that for the updates in the future. And this is what you're going to get for tier one, which is $39. You get 10 sites that you can install this plugin to, which I think is a good limit for what you're going to pay for. And you get all these features available, which I'm going to show you on this video. Plus, if you need more sites, there's tier two and all the way up to three for 100 sites. So if you're an agency or plan to use this on several sites, tier three would be the way to go. All right. So this is my Author C plugin. I already have it installed and I'm actually using it here on this site for testing purposes. So instead of having a dull looking author box, this is going to make it way better. And they have different layouts that we can change and check it out. So I'm going to show you that on this video. Now, before I show you the settings, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. They provide shared hosting plans where you can install your WordPress sites and use this plugin. So if you go to the link in the description, go to hosting, web hosting and in web hosting, you're going to be able to find the hosting plans available. In this case, they have plans from $299 all the way up to $799. So I would recommend the business plan, which is the most popular one. And let's go ahead and choose this for our plan because I'm going to show you how to apply an extra discount coupon code. Now, the first thing that hosting is going to ask you is how many months do you want to pay in advance? Obviously, I would recommend 48 months and it's not because I want to make you pay more because you're going to lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, and you'll be good to go for 48 months. Now, this is the current price, but if you add my coupon code, which is SAS Master, and apply it, the price is going to drop even lower to $172 with 37 cents. So use my coupon code if you plan to grab a hosting plan. All right. Okay. So this is Author C. I already have the plugin installed. And the first thing I would recommend where you get started is by creating a brand new author. Why is this? Because when we ran, when we run the test over here, testing out, adding icons, descriptions, etc. We want to have something to go by, okay? So first create an author, and I'll just say test, test, uh, test email, all right? And the user role will be an author in this case. Let's go ahead and create this author. And then we have the information for this particular author where we're going to add our avatar, the name, last name, email, the selected role, we can change it here. We can add a desti designations, for example, CEO, CFO, etc the author description, and these things are available here. So for example, CEO and the description for this particular author. There's social links for this author, the extra bio links, which would be the ones here on the bottom, and the password and security in case you want to enable that. Let me Now let me go into an author that I've created already to show you what I've done. And I've added this image, some just basic information here, some social links, some extra bio links, and no password on this, okay? So once you have one of these authors ready, what you want to do is go into settings. And the first thing you want to do is enable the author box. Okay, so we enable this and then designate where we want to enable this. You want to enable this on pages, on stories, etc. Uh, pages would not be a good idea, but I mean, you have the option there. So it would be posts, maybe stories, or you have different type of categories where you want to add these. Just go ahead and enable it there. Okay, then you have the author box position before content or after content. Enable multiple and guest authors in case you want to have multiple authors inside of each post. Maybe there's two, three authors for different type of posts. You can have this enabled. And I would recommend after this going into the author box layout. There's five layouts as of this video. I'm guessing they will be adding more. But for example, if you select this one, let's go ahead and save. Select that one and save it. Go ahead and refresh it. And we have a different look. Here we go. It's a different style. And you can go ahead and go through the five and select the one that you like the most. In this case, since this is a whole page, I'm thinking this one would be the best one to go with. So it's a style five where it takes this section and I would add it at the end, but it's up to you if you want to add it in the beginning or the end. Okay. Now, after that, you have a few settings. You got layout, customize. So for example, wrap and padding, box border. So if you want to round those corners off, box background color. So if you want to color this in, that is possible. I find that this doesn't look so well, so I wouldn't recommend it. I wish they add gradients or images for the background. So I hope they add that there. Okay. Profile image. So hide profile image in case you don't want to enable that. Even though if you have the image added there, you can go ahead and disable it by taking this on. Okay. Border radius, author name. You can disable these or enable them. The designation, the description, the social links, and the extra bio links. So we have settings for each one of these in case you want to disable them, change the size, style, etc. all from here. 
Once you're good to go, go ahead and save this and you'll be good to go. Now that is for the author section, okay? Now there's an extra tool that I find aside from being an author box is that it provides you a like and dislikes option. So in this case, I've enabled this and I get this option right here, okay? So that means that enabling this, display on post only, the position after content, the restrictions, I can restrict this by cookie restriction, IP or logged in user. So they won't be able to vote unless they fit one of these needs. Or if I just have no restrictions, they can vote as many times as they like just by refreshing the page, which is something you don't want. Okay. You can enable social share if the pos if the vote is positive. So let me show you this. If I click on positive, I get this option to social share. I don't have the options to customize this. It just provides this option. Okay. Now let's go ahead and refresh this. And over here, I have the other option that if it's negative, I can give feedback. So in this case, if it's negative, there's a feedback box here. So I'm going to say I don't like this page and let's go ahead and submit it. Now, after that, we also have the option for the style. And in this case, there's a there's a primary color, secondary color and CSS. That means that we can do a lot of customization US using CSS, but you do have to know how to customize with CSS. So that's the turn off. Unless you have a plugin or something that customizes CSS and visually, then it's pretty cool that we get that code and put it inside of here and we get to use it, right? And the last thing I want to show you is short codes. So in case you want to add the author box to a certain section of a page, a post, etc., that is not designated there, we can do it via a short code. So for example, for an author box, I can go ahead and generate this and I'll select the author, in this case, me, for this case, and I can select the style just for this particular code. I'll say style five generate the code and now we have this code which we which we can use anywhere on wordpress because if it's a page a post a blog post in between etc we can add this manually and we'll have that enabled so you can create these for your authors to let them embed it inside of a post and that's not the designated area in the beginning or the end and it gives you that flexibility so you have that option there and basically that is the author box deal so if you want to check that out and you want to beautify your author box, that is a good option, especially since it's really affordable. And if you want to grab a short hosting plan, don't forget to use my coupon code. And that's a wrap for AuthorZ.